gentlemen of the Hairspray Company, this is your half hour call. Oh, 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 you can't stop today. No. As it comes speeding down the track. Job yesterday is history. And it's never coming back. I'm playing Edna Turnblad, Tracy's rather large mother. And uh, I have to try and convince the audience every night that I'm actually a woman. It takes a lot of makeup. I absolutely cannot wait until Sydney. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get to Sydney. Can't wait. It's time to to sort of reinvigorate the show. I've made Wilbur a, a loving father. He lo he loves his wife. He loves his daughter desperately. He doesn't care what they look like or what they sound like. He loves the fact that his daughter has such strong conviction and belief. And I think Sydney's going to love this show. I think it's a Sydney type of show. Hi. Really looking forward to Sydney. I, I'm moving to the beach so I'm excited about that too and the uh, new crowds and fresh scene. It's going to be great. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest gig I've, that I've ever had because it's, um, yeah, it's a, I have a lot to do. So. Then we pull up the coats and leave the squares behind And then they shake it, shake it, shake it like they're losing their mind And never see that frown cause they're the nicest She's gone town. Essentially Hairspray is the story of Tracy Turnblad She's the chubby girl who shouldn't win the handsome leading man Additionally, they've, they've added weight to that by the idea of, of her mother being played by a man To support the underlying messages, don't judge a book by its cover there's a struggle, struggle that we have yet to win. You know, essentially, the, the, the show is, you know, the 60s uh, send-up, if you like. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's very, very theatrical, very funny, um, and, and a great score. But it, its underpinning is a very serious message about, um, about acceptance. Hairspray has uh, had an extraordinary um, history. The Broadway, original Broadway production, ran seven years and won almost every award, every Tony Award and Drama Desk Award that you could win the year that it opened. We've created a brand new production in Australia, unique to Australia, it's not, not been done anywhere else in the world like this, where we've um, dispensed with the traditional sort of sets and scenery that you have with a musical um, and replaced it with LED screens. So it's got very, very new technology. Backstage at the show, it's, it's very busy. There are some very dramatic transitional moments in the show that require really split-second costume changes. It's not easy out there. So Edna and, and, um, and, and Tracy in the first half in, in um, Welcome to the 60s have a complete transformation. Wig, you know, makeup, costume, everything. And, and it happens in the space of, you know, 30, 40 seconds. And then in the second act, there's a similar circumstance that occurs um, with Edna and Wilbur where they're in their sort of, you know, their general sort of costumes and they go into a fantasy sequence and the fantasy sequence takes place on the screens but behind those screens they're changing into the costumes that they're in in the fantasy sequence. It's quite rapid pace backstage with the cast moving on and off and the cast have some dramatic changes too, the whole ensemble changing into the whole black and white sequence for, uh, for Welcome to the 60s and then the protest at the end of the act. There's a lot of turbulent behaviour backstage during the course of the show just to get everyone in place and, and get them changed. My feeling always was that this is more of a Sydney show than a Melbourne show, only because of the gaudiness of it. I mean, the, the sort of party sort of, at, sort of atmosphere that the show has. And, you know, I guess um, that's something that Sydney's embraced over the years better than anybody, probably any other city in the world has. Yeah.